Hey everybody, it's Kevin Hogan from the Gold Prospectors Association of America, and welcome to September, or as we're calling around the office this year, September. It is the celebration, the month-long celebration of our founder, George Buzzard Massey's birthday. And this year, we are pulling out all the stops. You know, we give away a lot of gold throughout the year, but this month, we are giving away a lot of gold. Let me tell you how it works. If you are joining the GPA for the first time as, a, as an annual member, or if you're an annual member and you're renewing your membership, you're going to get the $15 gold back right off the bat. We're just going to send that to you. But you're also going to be eligible for a gold nugget that at today's spot's worth about $250. It's a pretty good incentive to renew or join. If you are joining as a GPAA paid in full lifetime member, or if you're upgrading every any level of your GPA membership to a paid in full lifetime, not only are you going to get the now famous $500 gold can, which is already loaded full of gold, you are also going to be eligible for the gold nugget one a day for the rest of the month that at spot price today was just a little bit under $500. Incredible opportunities. Pick up the phone and call the GPA office and talk to any member of the member services team. We'll get you set up with your new membership, your renewal, or your upgrade. It's a great way to get some gold before you go out on your next outing. Well, welcome back, uh, ladies and gentlemen. What I have here is I have... Uh, some crystalline banded quartz. Banded quartz, as Milt so aptly put it. And uh, what you know, a lot of times when you see this stuff here, it can carry gold. This is an unusual kind of quartz in that it's uh, you can see all the crystals in it. And these are small crystals. Sometimes you'll find this where there'll be large crystals that you can actually break them out. And when you look at this, a lot of times with the naked eye, you cannot see any gold in it, but there can be a lot of gold present. And what you need to do sometimes is you can inspect it with your loop. You get right down there with your loop and you take a look at that. And sometimes you can see, and I can see a little bit of, little bit of gold in this stuff right here. You know, now, how do you make sure, how do you find out, uh, get a good uh, uh, reading on it? Well, take a little bit of this and take your mortar and pencil, as we've done before here on the Gold Show. And you take that and you crush that up into a powder, and then you put that in your gold pan and you pan it. And that white quartz will float away because that, that mother rock is lighter than the gold. And so when Mother Earth was, 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 um, found made why she come up with a lot of this stuff and the gold in it but this banded quartz is really pretty if you want them to go on your desk somewhere or just uh, part of your mineral uh, specimen uh, display this banded quartz with all these crystals sticking in a lot of this times you can find some really unusual rocks when you're out there prospecting and um, you'll find garnet uh, we sit around here and pick some garnet out of the pan in your concentrates. You'll find little garnets. Uh, you can find in, uh, up in uh, southern Oregon and up there in Washington someplace, you find diamonds. Now, these are not, uh, these are not uh, gem quality diamonds. I guess they could be, but, but most of what I've found is considered an industrial grade diamond, but they're natural and they're really something. Now, there's a little hole in that one. I'm going to take a look in there. Did you get a close up of this banded quartz here? Did you get a close up of that? Uh, let me let me let you zero right in on that, and I'll show you what we're looking at. I threw it down there in the dirt. <laughs> you can wash that off. It doesn't hurt that wash to wash it off. And then what you got? You got these bands running through it here. See these bands running through it, and that's why they call it banded quartz. And then you can see the crystals, the the the, the crystals that grow in the quartz. You can see that and over a period of time and then in these uh, intrusions along here these fractures what you have is you have little tiny specks of gold in there now, I don't think you can see that in the camera but so this this rock uh, is probably worth it, it definitely is worth more as just a specimen with these little tiny flecks of gold in there uh, then then it, it would be if you crush it up and extract the gold so if you find something that's got some visible gold like this one has of course you're going to want to keep it and uh, and make a paperweight or something or put it in your mineral collection 
but that's uh, that's really nice and and, and th that's, there's an abundance of this stuff if you look for it but you you just have to you just have to get out there and and take your loop with you one of these little magnifying loops get you a good one and and carry that with you and inspect those rocks I remember one time I was out and there was a, a quartz boulder sitting out there and I have a, my little rock hammer and I took the rock hammer and tapped that quartz boulder apart and started to pull it apart and it was all stuck together with gold. Now when there's a lot of gold in it like that uh, sometimes it's it's more uh, uh, prudent to take the gold out of it to extract the gold but sometimes if if the gold is visible then the, the gold in the, the quartz has the signature that tells you that it's authentic. Anytime that you find a gold nugget that's got a little quartz stuck in it you know it's pretty authentic and if you're going to have uh, if you're going to have that made into jewelry there's something you want to remember too because if you find a nugget that's got some quartz in it and oftentimes there is and if you find one of these nuggets that's got some quartz in it and you take it to a jeweler to have a loop put on it so that you can put it on a chain and carry it around your neck or sell it that way because you take gold that's three hundred and seventy dollars an ounce and you find a nice little nugget you put a loop on there and make a for seven eight ten dollars you can put a nice little uh, little star shaped loop on there that you can put a chain through and then somebody can carry it on their neck and a lot of times you can get a thousand bucks or better an ounce for that gold uh, that way than if you just sold it as the raw nugget and uh, so that's an idea but when you take it to that jeweler the, the thing you want to remember is that is that uh, if they get that too hot they'll blow that quartz up because the quartz won't stand as much heat as the gold and the quartz is the signature that tells them that that little nugget is authentic so you want to caution your your jeweler a good jeweler he'll know that but a lot of them don't work in gold so they don't always know that and that's a real good tip that for you to remember that if you find one of these nuggets with a little quartz in it to make sure that you tell your jeweler the, to be careful with that quartz because you don't want to get too much heat on it when he solders that little uh, little loop on the end of it and uh, when he does that anyway ladies and gentlemen it's been uh, you've been really kind to tune in to us today here on the outdoor channel we'll be back tomorrow with a whole new show and we'll be talking about different things about getting gold because that's what it's all about i hardly uh, i hardly can understand why anybody thinks about anything else once they get out and get struck with a good dose of gold fever why it's uh, it's a real blessing because it'll get you up and get you out in god's country and get you a little exercise and give you something to think about besides uh the health program and NAFTA and Perot and Rush Limbaugh and Bill Clinton and from. all that other stuff you can get out here and you get thinking about gold and all them worries just go away you know you don't even think about the freeway and dodging plywood in the fast lane or somebody shooting at you when you change lanes or something you get out here all you got to do is worry about the bear and he isn't going to shoot at you he's pretty good if you stay away from him give him plenty of room uh, you got to understand that he is a vicious animal, and you don't want to get up there and start trying to play grizzly atoms with him. But as long as you, uh, as long as you keep uh, you keep your distance, while well, he'll keep his, and and it's uh, it's a lot of fun knowing that he's there because it makes life a lot more interesting. God bless you. Thank you for tuning in, ladies and gentlemen.